Every year, retailers want us to spend our money like crazy on things that we don't need just because they are great gifts that are on deep discounts. This is what I call the season of Black Friday. And it's made its way onto YouTube and social media as well. If your homepage is anything like my homepage, all you're seeing is creators saying how this Black Friday deal is insane. You absolutely need this pair of shoes, this pair of pants, this dress shirt, this suit, this jacket, this camera, this whatever. It is all over the place. Now, lots of creators will do this to help their audience find the best deals possible. And of course, they will add affiliate links down in the description of their videos. By the way, I am no exception to this. I do exactly that. There are some affiliate links down in the description to some of the fashion stuff that I really stand behind, as well as some cycling and filmmaking accessories. But that does not mean you should be impulse buying anything, especially if you can't afford it. Don't let these big retailers or the pressure of society and consumerism force you or peer pressure you into spending more money on gifts just because they are a great deal. So for today's video, so for today's video, whoopsies, we're going to discuss how you can shop smart and make sure that you buy great things that aren't just a total waste of time and waste of money for this Black Friday season. So we all know that Black Friday comes once a year. And it's not just Black Friday that we can see those sales. It's more the week or two before Black Friday and it runs pretty much almost all the way until December 25th or through the end of the year. So remember the start of this video, I called it the season of Black Friday, not just Black Friday, the day itself. Think of it as a season where you can get some great deals rather than just one day. Now, what you should be doing is trying to see if those items that you've been looking at for a long time, potentially almost up till a year, you've been looking at these items and seeing if they are on an actual deep discount. That way you'll have time to actually plan these purchases and think about if this is an item that you really want or if you just want it because you saw that it's on a crazy sale. Now, what you shouldn't be doing is impulse buying. What is impulse buying? You see something that is on a great, great, great discount, a great sale, and you have to have it. But before you saw it, you didn't even know what it was. You didn't care for it. But just because it was $100 marked down to $40 and that's $60 off, you couldn't pass up. The deal was just too good. Here's an example of how impulse buying works. Let's say you go to your nearest retailer and you want to buy yourself a pair of Levi's 511. Let's make believe list price for these jeans is going to be $60, but you really want to spend $40 and put that $20 in your pocket for maybe a pair of socks or something else. But upon arriving at the store, you find that if you buy one pair, you are going to have to pay that full price. But if you buy the second pair, you get half off that second pair. That means you buy one pair for $60 and that second pair, you only have to spend $30, meaning that you pay $90 and you get two pairs of jeans, meaning that they essentially cost about $45 per pair, which per item makes sense mathematically than spending $60 on one pair of those jeans. But here's the problem with that logic. You walked into the store wanting to spend no more than $60, but now you spent $90. They got you for an extra $30 and you've got a second pair of jeans where you only wanted or you only really needed one pair of jeans. This is an example of how big retailers trick you into impulse buying and you end up spending a lot more money and you don't save anything. That's something else too. The only way to actually save money is by not buying anything at all. And this is something that the sales and marketing team love to just tell us that shop now and save, spend on these sales and save. If a pair of nice men's dress boots cost $500 and you get them for 400, they'll have you think that you saved 100, but you didn't save 100, you spent 400. Even if they were on sale for 90% off and you got those $500 boots for I don't know, $50, you still spent $50. You didn't save $450, you spent $50. But let's say it's something that you know you're gonna go through, like a pair of socks, or maybe napkins or paper towels that we're all gonna go through. Then it actually starts to make sense to buy more and spend more in the moment because you are actually going to spend less money, not more money, less money in the long run, since it is an essential item that you know you're gonna use no matter what. But going back to that pair of jeans example I gave you before, Jeans last a very long time and it may take you five years to actually find that you saved $30. And at that point, $30 over five years, 
that's like nothing. And by the way, that's a true story that actually happened to me with a pair of Levi's 501s way back in the day. I ended up buying two or three pairs just because the more you buy, the more you save, where it was just, no, the more you buy, the more you spend. They just want to make you think that you're saving money. Meanwhile, instead of spending $60, I spent about $120 on three pairs of jeans. Now, should you just not shop at all on Black Friday? Well, I can't answer that for you, but I can tell you or let you know this is what I'm going to do. I'm currently looking at a pair of Cole Haan Original Grand Wingtips because mine are getting very worn and that is something that I know I'm gonna wear. It's super comfortable. I live in New York City, Queens, not Manhattan. I'm always walking to do all of my errands. I only take the car, my wife and I only take the car when we come out to here, We're currently in Long Island, New York. We're out of the city right now. So getting a pair of these at a deeper discount is actually going to help me since it's something that I know I am going to use. Uh, something else I've been looking at is the black J. Crew Nordic Parka. You probably seen if you watch my men's fashion videos I have a nice navy blue men's parka I really want it in black and since it is about 50% off or something like that I'm currently thinking about it however time of filming this video it is Wednesday before Black Friday so I've still got 48 hours to decide and honestly I don't need it so if I can't afford it I'm probably not gonna get it but it is tried and true and I do really enjoy that jacket so I know if I buy it I'm definitely gonna wear it a lot. But examples of things that I don't need would be some camera gear. I'm talking lenses, microphones, tripods. That stuff is all great, but it doesn't really go on too deep of a discount. There is a Tamron lens that I'm looking at for my Sony cameras that's usually 700. If they put it on sale for 650, it's still $650. That is a lot of money for a lens. And this entire system that I'm filming on right now, the DJI Pocket 3 with the DJI wireless microphone, is about $700 full price. So it's not really an essential. It's more of just a nice to have. That is probably something that I'm going to leave when I have more money in my budget just for fancy toys. It's a bit of a random video here, not much of a structure. Just wanted to share some of my thoughts with some of the mistakes and some of the wins that I've made on Black Friday. That way you'll be able to shop smart. And when you do spend your hard earned money, you're actually going to get it on things that you value and things that you're gonna wear. Whether that's a super cheap pair of shoes or a super expensive pair of shoes or a crazy expensive Burberry trench coat or a super cheap winter jacket from Costco. As long as you shop smart, buy things that you are actually gonna use and gonna bring value into your life and avoid impulse buying like the plague, you won't have buyer's remorse and you'll be satisfied with your purchase for years to come. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you have crippling debt or if you wanna go extreme like me and you have any debt at all, it might be wise to just put that extra money towards paying down your debt and not buying anything at all this Black Friday. Crazy, I know. Thanks for watching.